Hello everyone, look at what we're making today. Does it look familiar to you? Okay, where I come from, this is called Okporokpo. Okporokpo, the word is an is a handful. <laughs> Okporokpo. So here's an overview of the ingredients we would be using. Okay, first of all, we have salt, just a little, not too much for taste. And then seasoning cube, this is totally optional. Palm oil is not optional because we need it for color. And this is the corn flour. This is the main ingredient. Corn flour. This is real corn. Real corn bought and blended. Not like the corn flour sold in the supermarket. No, at all. And that one is um, scotch bonnet, pepper. This is crayfish. Very important. And then fish. Very, very important. You can use different types of fish for this um, uh, delicacy. Any type. Mix all of them. You can also call it, in English, you can call this fishy corn pudding. Yes, you can call it that. Fishy corn pudding, corn fishy pudding. Just know that it has a lot of fish. Yes, that's what makes it unique. This is like a sister to a pity. If you know what a pity is, a pity is um, something like this too, but we use plantain for that one. You could check through our pl playlist and you'll see it. A pity, very, very lovely. So this one too, too is like a pity, but... It doesn't have plantain. That's the difference. It doesn't have plantain. Now, my mommy loves this one. I don't really love it. I mean, different. I can eat it. I can leave it. But a pity, ah, I must eat that one. Because it's sweet, of course. You know, plantain, anything that has ripe plantain is very, very, very sweet. So, we have three cups of corn flour here. Like I told you, this is real corn. Dried corn, blended not it's organic there's nothing added here at all and you could buy this corn grind it and use it for months it could last for six seven months yes depending on how you preserve it. even up to a year depending on how, how you preserve it so we're making or poropo in pigeon we'll call this um corn moi moi yes we'll call it maybe corn moi moi we get plenty fish maybe that's what we'll call it but like I told you, where I come from, Bonny Island in River State, this is called Okporokpo. Of course, you know, after pounding our pepper, we always rinse our container. So we just rinse the mortar. Follow the video. If you have questions, please ask me. Ask me. I'm here for you. Whenever you see this video, ask me, how did you do this? How did you do that? And I'll be very, very glad to respond to all your questions. So... We're aiming for a particular consistency. We keep stirring it. Now we're adding our fish. Remember, the fish has to be deboned. You remove every bone so that you can enjoy this thing to the optimal level. You can enjoy this delicacy. Have you had this oporoku before? I know um a lot of people, a lot of um people have this delicacy in Nigeria. See, I'm adding the remaining corn. Yes, this is to make it thick. This corn is acting like a cement. You know, when you're building a house, you you add cement, you add sand. So this one is acting like a cement to bind it and keep everything in one place. We do not need egg for this at all. Egg is alien to this recipe. You no know, egg serves as a binder, but this one, we don't need egg. So our corn flour is the binder, is the cement for this structure. Yes, this is our food structure. Now look at this palm oil. Don't think it's too much. No, it's not too much. When we mix everything very well, like now, you look at it and you'll be wondering, why? Why do you have so much palm oil? No, it will blend and go in very well. You won't see palm oil. And then, please, for this part, be very careful so it doesn't splash. You could spill palm oil all over your all over your table, so be very careful. Be Take it gently, easy here. Why or why? Why or why means easy. So, easy. Do smart. Do smart. Gently, 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 gently. So, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to Nengi's Kitchen. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Welcome. So, now we're tasting it. You have to taste it to see if you need to add anything, maybe more salt or seasoning or anything. But we didn't need to add anything. So, it's going into the things, the moi moi things or whatever things you want, whatever container you have. And then it's best to use leaves, but I didn't have leaves at this time, and I wanted to make this uh, this uh, delicacy or recipe. I wanted to make this food, so that's why I use the thing. I use these uh, things. They are also good. They still give you same taste, even though the leaves would give you 
more flavor to make it more flavorful but it's not bad at all it's not bad at all at all you could try things and then you know it's not every time you need you you have the leaves available so you can use this more more things okay so well, you you must add water in the pot if not to get burnt of course then you layer this thing the things inside your pot and you cover it very well cook it for at least 40 minutes at least 40 minutes 40 minutes is enough to cook it so from 40 40 to 45 minutes depending on the level of your heat so we'll check it now and see how it is if it is ready so add, i'm adding water because the water has reduced if your water hasn't reduced please do not do not bother to add water so i checked it now it's not ready how do you know it's ready first of all the timing to the the um aroma will be all over your house and then you use a toothpick you put it inside your your okuruko like this if it comes out clean real clean you know it is ready there's still another way i'll show you another way to check this one you open it like this but be careful because it's very hot my hand is now immune to heat <laughs> you check it if it doesn't stain if there's no butter if your hand doesn't stain everything and it doesn't sink like this it comes out like this you know that it is ready you put it down and then you serve it this one now is very very hot to oh. don't look at as how i'm doing it to oh. allow it cool a bit before you do this it's very very hot so like i was telling you when you poke your toothpick into it and it comes out clean no wet butter at all if it comes out clean then you know it is ready so those are the tips I said I should let you know that it is ready. It is time to enjoy. You serve this with any type of drink. But I enjoyed mine with water. So just enjoy. If you have watched this video till now, please subscribe to this channel. So you see other things we are doing. Yes, so subscribe. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being here. This is for you. Open your mouth. It is time for you to taste it. Yes, taste it and tell me, would you be making this? Do you have this in your place? What do you call it? Do you call it Okuruko like us? Oh yeah now. Bye. <laughs>